next, we have a really cool craft using sand. We're also using a terracotta saucer, both interesting things when mixed with glitter glue. So let me show you how we're gonna make it. You're going to need an assortment of colors of sand, a terracotta saucer, and this is basically your picture frame, so it could be as big or as small as you like. And then you're gonna need some assorted glittery glues, clear glue, a pencil, and scissors, and a small paintbrush. So, you're gonna start off by printing out this pattern, which you'll find on our website, or kind of drafting a pattern of your own. Now, we're kind of going with that nature theme with some birds here. So, we're gonna just go ahead, we've printed it out, and we're just gonna give it a little cut. Now, we're gonna cut right on the line and try and take off as much of the black as we can, because what we wanna do is leave enough room when we make our outlines. So I'll go ahead and cut out this bird, and then we'll skip on over to the next bit. Again, you can use any pattern you like. It could be butterflies, birds, bears. It could be a nice big shape though so that you can see it, because we're gonna do the outline. So now we're gonna go ahead and trace this into our terracotta pot. And I'm just using a pencil. You notice how I have to kind of squish it down because it goes around the lip of the terracotta, like this. I'm just gonna go around like so. And it actually doesn't have to be super exact because this is gonna be a guideline for your glue. So there's room for improvisation, if you will. Not mistakes, improvisation. And then you're gonna do the same thing with the bird shape, like this. And once you've got it all traced out, and you would even cut out this middle section so that it defines a, a wing shape, you're gonna set it aside. And I'm gonna get started with the outlining. Now, with the one that I've got, I'm using a gold because I don't have a brown glitter glue, but use the color that you like. Green would be pretty. And we're gonna make a nice, thick bead of glitter glue right over your pencil line. Now the glitter glue will flatten out a little bit as it dries, that's okay, which is one of the reasons why we wanted to leave some space so we have positive and negative shapes like this. All right, so I'm using the gold here and then I would go ahead and create just kind of the frame around everything with this pretty blue. I'm gonna go up around the top and then don't forget to fill in the bird in the middle. But I have that done, so let me show you what it looks like. When we're all done, I've got all of the outlines. But where's the sand? Let me show you. We're gonna fill in one of the areas, and I'm gonna start with the red here, with this clear school glue. And I like to use clear on this one because then you can still really see the lines for your bird. Now I'm trying to go in between the glitter glue right, and just kind of paint it in. I'm kind of painting it in carefully. Now, I'm going to take my sand, and this is a red bird, it's like the red bird of happiness, and I'm gonna sprinkle the sand right on top, like this. Okay, I'm gonna give it a little shake for good luck, and then I'm gonna tap it out, and look, I have got my bird all filled in in red. And you can use your finger or a paintbrush to kind of scrape out the extra. We're gonna repeat the same step, but this time we're gonna go ahead and start with the blue. And same process. We're gonna paint it in like this and just go around and fill it in. And then you would add your blue sand for around the bird and below the branch and your brown sand and the bottom. But again, if you have different colors of sand, make it work for you. This could be really fun with an ocean theme, with greens and blues and purples. You could even do outer space. It's kind of up to you. A little shake for luck. And then there you go. Now, if you'd like more coverage, you can repeat even with the sand by putting more glue on top and another layer of sand. And I'll show you here. We've gone ahead and done two layers of sand, and if you get any sand on top of the glitter glue portion, you can go back over, and I'll go back over with the red, to show you how you can make it and build it up a little bit more. So if you wanna go ahead and take a look at our finished one, you'll see our red bird of happiness perched on a branch, ready to go to camp with us.